To palpate the longus coli, we first find the sternal head of the sternocleidomastoid. To do this, we have the client rotate her neck to the opposite side and lift up, and the sternocleidomastoid pops. We drop immediately medial to the medial border of the sternocleidomastoid, and we first check for the pulse of the carotid artery. If it's felt, we either move off it or move it slightly out of our way, and then we press down toward the spine feeling for the longus coli. If we feel we're on the longus coli, we ask the client to lift her head and neck into flexion, which will engage the longus coli, and we can strum perpendicularly across it. We then continue to explore and palpate the longus coli inferiorly and superiorly as she contracts and relaxes the muscle. The longus coli attaches inferiorly as low as the body of T3 and travels superiorly to attach to transverse processes and bodies as high as C1, the atlas. Because of the presence of the mandible, accessing the longus coli up to the atlas is extremely difficult.